Happy weekend, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me here at the Coloring Oasis. I have a massive Amazon adult coloring supplies and books haul. I am so excited to go over with you some of these items I haven't even opened yet or tried. I have a coloring page here printable from Etsy, um, which is not one of my favorites, so I probably wasn't going to color it because the picture cut off. So I'm gonna use this as a test page for a few of the mediums I got so I can show you how they look. And this is by, why can't I remember? I just had it. <laughs> I can't remember, but I'll, I can put the link for the printable below. I think it's my printer that cut it off. I don't think it's the page, but I'm not sure. But I did a couple of his other pictures for my what I colored in, um, I believe it was my July video or my August video. You can check that out. But anyway, so let's get started. I'll put this off to the side. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you some of the little things I got. And then I have a ton, um, one, two, three, six or seven coloring books. First thing I got is this giant set of neon Sharpie highlighters. Of course, it's back to school. They had um, back to school sale on Amazon. These were super cheap, a few dollars. I don't, I don't, I don't remember what they were. And you know, highlighters you don't generally think of coloring with, but I can tell you when you're you're wanting to work in neons, or if you're doing Halloween pictures that have a lot of blacks and grays, and then you want to put in just some bright pops of color you can use these for your your moon your nighttime moon you can use these oranges um, on pumpkins and go over with pencil or as an under layer you can do it as an over layer to oil pencils um so anywhere you want you have gray scale you want some of that gray shadowing to show through you can use highlighters so it these work really nice to play with in combination with different mediums when you want bright pops of color. Um, if, you, if you're doing like a night sky and you have like little stars all over, these, these Sharpies work really well. Um, you can do a whole background in a neon Sharpie over white and have it just be like, I mean, it's not gonna be solid, solid neon. It's gonna be almost like a, a sheen of light color. So these are really great. And of course you can use them for work and um, I use them in my coloring journal to highlight stuff I need to know as well. So, I mean, really they're cheap enough. You can't go wrong. So next I purchased this. This is a little jar of Stickles Moon Dust Glitter Gel. Never used it. I've only recently discovered Stickles. I'm in love with them. I have to almost now add accents of Stickles to every page I do, particularly on makeup, um, fingernail, nail polish, any galaxy pictures, any fairy and fantasy pictures. And those are the squeeze ones and I'll show you those, but this is supposed to be something you can paint on with a little brush over a bigger expanse. Like if you have planets you wanna do, maybe an entire fairy wing you wanna paint over. Yeah, so that's what this is. And I can't report how well it works because I haven't used it yet, but I imagine since I love stickles, this is gonna be great. It's got that just pure on, purely clear, like Tinkerbell Furry Wings, Sparkle. Um, like, for example, I also bought more Stickles. <laughs> I bought this Stickles set. Do not separate, which was, I don't, I'll open it and I'll link below which one I got. Because you do buy them in, generally on Amazon in packs of five and you have to double check when you're buying multiple packs. As time goes on, you don't have those colors. I think these were the, might have been the metallics. So we have here like a, a purple, a beautiful kind of a magenta. Is there a name on here? Sorbet. Uh, lavender. Sorbet. Glam pink. Cranberry. Ooh, this would be great come the holidays. It's cranberry. Cosmic and thistle and I've been working I did a couple pages 
um, for September. I'll show you in my What I Colored in September video from Coco Wild's Galaxy Queen. And I'm loving the sparkles and the glitter and all kinds of glitzy glam stuff in there to make it look more celestial. Um, but this will be great for doing like ornaments come Christmas time. Um, and these are good, like the pinks are good accents for whenever I do um, lipstick on any of my faces. I, you know, I'll do like a marker or whatever and I'll usually go over it with some stickles because I like lip gloss with sparkle. But these you use more for outlining things whereas this stuff you can use to paint on a whole surface like an entire wing fairy wing and then i got this one and this is by the same company i guess but they're called something different and they looked more like pastels and let's open it because i want to check this out I, th I figured it was like a type of stickles but i think they're different because they aren't called stickles they're called let's see these are called liquid pearls, robin's egg, white opal, dimensional pearlescent pure, pure, pure paint, great for embellishing paper or art projects or fabrics. Squeeze, you, so you squeeze it on, use it just like stickles, but it doesn't have so much of the glitter sparkle. So it's more like those creamy pastel pearly colors and you can still use these as accents like you would stickles for makeup for nails for fairy wings on like little dollops of this blue like for dewy dew drops on um leaves anything you can think of this yellow you can squeeze in all of your stars and planets this green you can accent all kinds of um leaves and of course it has these sticks which are kind of interesting i thought they were gonna be like q-tips but these ends feel just like the pen pastel ends oh these are really cool then they're firm oh my god there's tiny ones for little nooks and crannies okay so this is great so you could probably i'm guessing squeeze a little on the tip or put it in like a little in a little palette thing or put it, just do a dollop on a piece of paper and dab this in to get the, a little tiny nook and cranny. Actually, you guys want to try one on my picture? Let's do that. Because I have no idea. I'm just guessing. Let's try this out. Um, I guess that's going to slow down our, our haul. But let's try it with, like, the green. Let's see. Well, first of all, you can squeeze it right on. So can you guys see what I'm doing here because I got supplies everywhere my desk is and is also so let's squeeze on a little green like in the center of these flowers just like you would a stickle yeah so you can do it like a stickle so instead of a marker I just did a green dollop right in the center here's another green dollop okay and that works and that it definitely is like a creamy pearly color um, so you can do it like you would a stickle, yes. So for the yellow, what if I were to, let me move these little buggers to the side in my way, my demo. What if we were to use this beautiful lemon chiffon? I'm gonna squeeze some right onto the center of this flower. Um, I'm going to just squeeze it on like I would a stickle, like a little stripe on each. Oh, I should zoom in for you guys. Let's zoom in. Uh -oh. So I'm doing it like, I have to turn the picture sideways, a little stripe. So yeah, you could do a flower petal. You could do a base under layer of a, of a marker and then do that little star cross with the stickle accent. But I'm going to use the little tiny brush. Oh dear, what's gonna happen here? And dab it in, see if I can do it solid. Okay, when you dab it in, hmm, the brush is actually still almost too, too wide. I guess if you had, all right, so same concept. Um, you could do it on a bigger surface like a leaf. This You'd almost need something finer for what I'm doing, but bottom line is you can press it down. 
because it kind of comes out raised in 3D and make it more flat and just kind of dollop it in for an all over surface pearlescent color. So you just have to kind of play with this and see what you can do. So that looks, yeah, I pressed it in, but you can do, I mean, imagine you can do all kinds of cool stuff with that. Oh, it looks pretty. Um, I imagine you have to wash this after, which I can't do at the moment. So yeah, I'm just kind of, you know, this would look good in that galaxy book because it's almost like, they're, yeah, they're pastel, but they're pearlescent. They almost look kind of like a hieroglyphic or something. <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay. Well, anyway, so that's cool. So let's take a look at the blue. Should we? <gasps> Why not? What if I were to try to do, this is a test page, so if I run it, it's okay. What if I were to do, let's say, what can I, what would be blue on here? I'm not even sure. Let's say I want to do blue, blue in this around, like, let's say I was using like a stickle to outline her bow. I'm going to outline it, which you could do if there was already colored in the center, just like you would a stickle. Oh, that's a pretty blue. This is going to be so pretty for like water accents or uh, bubbles any of your ocean books but then i'm now i have yellow on this stick so i'm going to try to blend it in to the middle see if it's enough just by bringing in what you do on the outside into the middle is it going to actually swirl with the yellow or is the yellow already dried i'm not sure i feel like i'm in school again trying to experiment New mediums. I don't see any yellow blending in, so maybe that one was already dry. Okay, so well, anyway, so you see the difference. Oh, that's a pretty blue. Look at that. So yeah, when you use the little brush thing, it is gonna make it textured and raised, but you can outline like you would the stickles too, but that is a look. It's almost like a pastel metallic or something. I don't even know how to describe it. Fun! I uh, better get my test page to try to wipe some of this off because I can't go wash it right now. Well, pretty, pretty. I love them. I think they're all, so they're just like baby pastel colors. Okay, let's move on. So anyway, you have a whole kit, like all of these little, whoops, different size brushes. You get a big one. If you want to do a bigger surface area, different sizes. Oh my gosh, I should have used this one for that flower petal. There's a pointy one. See, there's one that would have been right. I'm sorry, for the center of that flower, the pointy one would have been better. Okay, we're moving on to the next goodies, but I highly recommend these because I like them and I've barely done anything with them. All right, so next, I'm done with our stickles. So I keep, I have a giant baggie full of stickles. I just put all these two in one baggie. We're going to move on to something else we can experiment on, which are these. These are different types of metallic and um, glitter pens. These, the brand is Duvo, Nuvo, Nuvo, Northern Lights. I might have shown one of these in a previous video, but I was waiting to get some of the others. This one was Tropical Rainforest. This one was called Pep Pepper, Pepper? Cuts off the word there. Peppermint. <laughs> Peppermint cream. Duh. And this one was Deco Color Premium Prime Solid Liquid Gold. So when you're doing anything Egyptian or you want gold jewelry, because I was trying to regularly use like a gold pencil, Prismacolor, to do gold jewelry. It just doesn't look right. Like I want it to look like real shiny gold. And so this um, is something that was recommended to me. It's a paint pen. Let's try out these these first. Um, let's try out this rainforest. No, not rainforest, the peppermint cream. And I got this because I love my earth tones, but I love Christmas and I just love peppermint, everything. And I thought, why not? So it's Nuvo Glitter Marker Peppermint Cream. I wish they had like a whole set though, not just like a couple random ones you could buy. Okay, so it's, oh dear. Did it leak? Cause there's like glitter all over my hands. I think it leaked. Yeah, there's green in there. 
You're kidding me. Well, blast it. Now it's going to get over everything I touch. Oh, you got to be kidding me. It cracked. Look. <gasps> That's not normal. I wonder if it got squashed in the box. I didn't, or look, it's broken. Bloody hell. It's like literally the plastic part is cracked. So, hmm. Well, it's green, so I'm a hand. So I don't think that's normal, but it's not off to a great start. I'm gonna have to get a towel. So hold on or fast forward because I cannot pause. Hold on one second. Hold on, hold on. Okay, got a towel. I, if you got one that isn't cracked, I'm sure it would be really pretty. <laughs> All right, we have a towel here. I'm gonna go back to this one and try to open it after I touch these other ones, but there's literally glitter all over my hands, so I guess that's a good sign that it's a glittery product. Let's open this one, Northern Lights. My hands feel sticky with it. Is this gonna be one of those filming disasters that you wish you, you wanna restart the video, but you can't because you've already opened everything, so it's not a box opening. This is Northern Lights. Look how pretty that is. Green, purple, pink. Oh, look, and they're not cracked. But look at this looks like it's, let's look at this green here. This looks super dark, but the demo on it looks light. Isn't that weird? All right, I'm going in for the try number two. All right, so it looks like you have to press down to act Activate it. Hmm. 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 I'm singing in the rain. Just singing in the rain. Nothing's happening. Am I doing this wrong? <laughs> Come on, sucker! <laughs> I'd be like, all oh, these pens are going back. This is a bad box opening. Okay, I see something. I don't usually buy paint pens. Am I doing something wrong? Dry not to be used by children. Spring loaded. Press the tip down several times. Excess pressure won't work. Oh, okay. Gentle. Doing gentle. Growing a beard here. Getting old. Come on, come on. I see green. Hmm. So far, you guys, I'm leaning toward return. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> okay, we're moving on to try another one. <laughs> I'm sure once you get it out, it'll be fine. I'll have to do a recap later or something. Um... Well, I'm glad I opened these now and not down the road when it's too late to send back. I'm going to do two at a time. <laughs> Where's my son when I need him? He always gets these things to work. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, am I seeing some color? It's definitely wet. It's just like a clear alcohol wet. Wow. Faux or flop? Faux. Fl huh. <laughs> oh no, I see something. Houston, we have liftoff. Woo! Okay. <laughs> I have like the least amount of patience. Okay, it is coming out. All right, give it some credit. I just don't have the patience for it. This is going to be the world's most boring video. I haven't even gotten to all the books yet, you guys. I This one's coming. Okay, it just takes forever. I just, like, expect instant results. So I'm going to rework these. But anyway, we have a green one working. So let's see. Let's do the tip of a leaf here. Yeah, it's definitely coming out like a glitter marker. There we go. 
Oof. I think if you have to work a product for five minutes before it works, that's a, a, a sell, that's a selling turn off for me. Oh, that is pretty though. I had high hopes. Like, I guess I was right. You just have to have the patience. I guess I need to remember, you guys can fast forward this if you're bored. <clears throat> so here's that green, the non-broken green. That is pretty. That is, oh, there you go. Green, green, green on my hands. Should I give that red one more try? Come on, come on, come on. It's coming down. Why does it take so long? Mm -hmm. See, I can see it coming down. I'm going to have to work with that some more. So I'm going to give a follow-up review on these and move on. Um, I can't say it what I think. We could try to handle this, this broken one, see what happens here. Ugh. Uh, oh, it has to be activated the same way. Yeah, okay. Well, huh, yeah, this, I, I don't know if I can return it without making a mess. Okay, well, let's move on because I'm bored with myself. <clears throat> Dang, all that anticipation for very unsatisfying results, huh? <laughs> I don't think I've ever had to pull out a towel during a demo before. <laughs> okay. Um, pretty when it works not easy to get it to work but the jury's not out yet let's check out this one this is the deco color premium prime liquid gold different brand so let's just see oh it's plastic wrap see that's what that other one should have been is plastic wrap so it doesn't totally flop like spill and make a mess if it um leaks oh i almost just cut myself Gosh, really? It's not sharp enough. So far this video has been longer than I have anticipated. Why me? Why? Here, get creative, use a pen. Come on. <laughs> oh. I don't really aim for entertainment. It just happens naturally. Okay. There we go. This sounds like a nice heavy paint marker. Here's some test paper. Shake, shake, shake. Same thing, you gotta activate it, but how long will this one take to activate? This one has a bullet nib, so it's completely different. Gosh, you know, usually I, I don't have the patience for these, so I give them to my son. I'm like, make this work. Okay, I see something coming out. There we go. Much faster than the others. Oh my gosh, it looks like pure gold. Look at that. Wow. Oh, it really looks like gold. Okay, look how much faster that was than the other product. Oh, dude, it smells like I'm painting my living room. <laughs> so yeah, it smells like paint. Let's do this on this poor bunny's face. I'm gonna make a gold bunny. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's like gold paint. That really works. I don't want to waste it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I, I always think I, you should wear a mask when you're using these kind of things. Look at that pure liquid. It really works. So if you want your jewelry or some gold ornaments for Christmas, I can see why this was recommended. I like it. Oof. I think I got a little buzz from that marker. Okay. Next, let's move on to these. I got these uh, Crayola Signature Detailing Gel Pens. They're super affordable. Um, gosh, they must have been under, was it $20 or less or something? I don't remember. I'm not a huge fan of gel pens. I only have one gel pen set, to be honest, which is amazing because I have thousands of dollars of art products. Um, I do love the Crayola Signature Pencils almost more than the Prism Colors. They just don't make a lot of colors. So let's try them up. These are the Crayola. Ooh, pretty tin. I still have glitter on my hands. Tin is pretty. It's a little black. Ooh, look at that. 
not. God, the set of gel pens I have are like some cheap, one of the really skinny ones. Oh, they're thick gel pens too. How many are in here? There are 20 gel pens, two, tray, two trays, nice colors. Let's try it out. I'm gonna try out a blue. Let's try out a pink or red. And that's funny, these look, and there's some, oh, some are metallic and some are glitter. Okay, so yeah, these are the glitter ones that I just pulled. And these are the metallic, right? Yeah, so let's see. Here's a glitter gel pen. Nice silver point. They have like a rubber grip, which is nice. Let's see if it comes right out. Let's see if we can do some blue in her eyes. Ooh, it's coming right out. I generally don't like gel pens because I feel like they're dried out half the time. Even if you don't use them for a while or they're new and it's you're always shaking and shaking and trying to get this stupid color to come out. Ooh, pretty. This has a ton of sparkle. Now, is it going to dry out as I'm coloring? One trick with gel pens is you, you can't really do streaks. You have to do like little circles like little zigzags in within the area you're coloring as you move over instead of try to color with it like a crayon. That's pretty. Okay, I'll shut up close to you a minute. Let's do the red. Let's do her barrette in red. Oh, I just smeared that stuff. Oh, I'm making a real mess today. That stuff was still wet, that pearlescent stuff we did earlier. Brand new red, just opened it. Didn't even shake this one. Look at it, she's coming out nice and thick and sparkly. But see, I'm just doing like little squiggles, filling in the little spots back and forth. So you don't do any like streak. It's when you do streaks, you're more likely to get it to like skip or scratch or dry out. Like when you get more white bits on the paper. Sparkly, honey. Ooh, pretty. Okay, that's the red. Nice and flowy. Let me do real quick the metallics and then I'll zoom in. Let's do her lips in a red metallic. I did shake it compared to the red glitter. Oh, I can still smell that gold paint, you guys. Oh, I feel like I'm sniffing a paint can. It's pretty potent. Hopefully it'll dry. Okay, this is coming out. Nice. These are very, like for gel pens, they're fairly liquidy, which is hard to come by. This is kind of feeling more like a jelly roll, the jelly roll pen, than like a regular gel pen, like the straight shuttle R, the cheaper ones. Let's do one more. Let's do purple metallic. Let's do her other barrette here in this purple. Look, it just comes right out. I haven't had one dud. Oh, these are great. I'm very impressed by Crayola. I ha I just realized, you guys, I filmed a Crayola video a few weeks ago, and I forgot to release it. It's still on my phone, so I'm going to release that. It's got all the Crayola signature pencils compared to the regular Crayola pencils, my colors of the world, and some tests on it, and how surprised I am. Comparing the, the pencils, but surprised. Like, who would have thought that they'd make Crayola stuff for adults? Because I still have it in my kit, in my head. If I use Crayola products, I'm downgrading from my really expensive, nice adult coloring products. So zooming in. Yeah, so that's the red metallic. No, red glitter. And that's supposed to be the purple metallic, but it looks glittery, but not quite as sparkly. The blue gl um, glitter gel pen. Look at that. That was the red metallic. And even down here, you can see those colors. I have it pretty zoomed out. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm very surprised. So, yeah, I highly recommend these. Really nice. Gosh, so that's that's it for me. So when a when a gel pen, you first time you use it and or you barely touch the paper and the color rolls on nice and easy, that's a sell for me. Most of the time I've had bad luck with gel pens. They're just, they get scratchy and they're hard to get the color out. Oh, these are great. I will link this below. 
you guys and all this stuff so if you want to go down while you're watching or pause the video to click on and add it to your cart in case you decide to remember you want to buy it in the future or ask for it for Christmas or something these were very inexpensive so I'm very pleased all right next 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 I have these since we're on a glitter marathon still in plastic these are the Premium Art Owl Glitter Acrylic Marker 12-Piece Japanese Set. Water-based Italian ink. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Water-based Italian ink. Japanese nib. Okay. Confused? This is cool. Let's check it out. And this says you can use it too on glass, por uh, porcelain, and other surfaces. The reason I'm kind of going glitter bonkers is I've been on a mission to find more sparkly glitter stuff because, like I said, I've been working on that Coco Wyo Galaxy Queen book, and I did an amazing page, and I did my first page, and it looked it looks fantastic. Wait until you guys see it, but I didn't have enough glitter sparkly stuff to create the celestial look I was going for, so I'm like, I'm on a mission to find all the cool glitter stuff you can use in your coloring pages. It has a nice little box oh so there's 12 and here they are individually wrapped of course they are which is good compared to that peppermint blast of ink we got but i hate getting plastic off these little buggers why 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 oh my god this just destroys my nails and my scissors are dull i realize so that's not cutting it but I mean, let's face it, the other one should have been like that because apparently they do leak. And I have a leak. It makes me think of that I Love Lucy episode from the hour long series they did after the Lucy show ended, the Lucy Daisy Comedy Hour, and they go to the country. And they go out to a cabin vacation where they rented a cabin and then two other, a famous couple, whose name I can't remember, also rented the cabin. The two girls got blown off by the uh, Ricky and the other actor guy to go fishing and the girls were left alone all the time and then the girls put holes in the raft because they wanted like a romance night so when we tried to and then they're out on the raft and the in the little lake and all of a sudden the holes water starts spouting up and lucy keeps plugging gum into it and he's like we sprung a lick and ricky's like we sprung a lick a lick a lick we sprung a lick <laughs> ah, i just love lucy hey that's the name of the show Okay, so these have, again, that <sighs> need to fill paint nib. Let's see how quickly this comes out. Gentle pressure. There we go. It's working. Woo! I'm tempted at the end of this video to just go back to those original ones and work it. I just don't want to bore you guys in the meantime. Okay. Let's see. Let's do this little flower. Oh, it's so liquidy and juicy. And pretty oh, I love it let's go in here and do some little areas of her dress oh my god I'm barely touching the page and it's just flowing over it and it doesn't uh, it's got a little bit of an odor but I just stick my nose to it to smell it whereas the other one it was like like blast attack uh, I can open one more. Uh, let's open the yellow. Oh, how about we open the black? Because you can always use a good black glitter marker. Ugh, sorry, you guys. I didn't know everything I bought was going to have individual plastic wrap on it. I need something sharper to cut these darn things. I should have, like opened all looked at these and opened them all before the video <sighs> i'm not one of those people that spends a ton that edits her videos because i don't have time for that i'm not a video videographer i don't care about that i'm only here for the art not my job to edit the videos for everybody else okay so let's try this here activate the black gentle pressure and spin it around comes right out look at that okay i like these so far 
Let's do the strap on her dress. Ooh, look at that. <gasps> Liquidy, solid glitter black. Oh, I love it. These are almost as good as the Ohuhu ones. And the, the Ohuhu ones have many colors. It almost has like a gray tint to it. Ugh, love it. See that? It comes, it looks more gray. And then the other one we did was this little flower. It looks under my bright light. You don't see the pigment as much. So it's one of those ones that, oh, you see that sparkle? Yeah, so these are great. It, this definitely these look, look definitely metallic. Um, so should, I would try another color, but I want to keep you guys all day. But they actually do have a silver, an actual silver, which could be like more like a sparkle pen. They have a gold. Oh, that's cool. Oh, no, I have to compare it to that other gold. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Oh, let's compare this to that gold toxic bomb that we had earlier which really does work but look at there it is right there all right i'm gonna press and spin i'm just gently pressing and spinning come on here we go oh, out it goes oh whoa that's whoa that's way cool this one looks like gold, but like a clear gold. It's weird. Um, let's do her strap in this. Oh, it's weird. It's like a white gold almost. Oh, that's pretty. It's like a silk. It reminds me of like white gold jewelry almost. I didn't get that one flowing quite as well as I wanted. I get a little drink here. Mm. Okay, my coffee is getting cold. Well, you can see that. Looks like a white gold. Do you see the difference between the black and the the gold? So yeah, I, I like these a whole lot. So I'll definitely be using these. These kind of pens are perfect for Christmas, for all your Christmas coloring books, because of all the, like, the ornaments. Oh my gosh, you guys, we're at 37 minutes. I have a ton of stuff. Let's do two more things and I'll, I'm going to have to do a two-part video on this. I did pick up this stuff. This is Folk Art Glitter Life, a Glitterific Pop Unicorn Magic. Um, it's thick. I actually tested this when I first got it. It almost looks kind of milky. Um, and it has little bits in it. And I used this. The second it came to do a little, just um, yesterday, just to do one little part on my galaxy page that I hadn't finished. It's like milky and kind of bluish, but it's got little like, like bits of glitter in, in it that looks like texture on the page. It was really cool. I love this. And you need a paintbrush for that, by the way. Um, okay, so I have one more thing to test though, you guys. Two sets of pencils. <laughs> and okay, let's do a couple of books. And then the next video, we'll do more pencils, books, and, well, let me show you this I got. This I got is the, um, the Pan Pastels Skin Tone Set. And I have three cases of Pan Pastels. I have the, pa the actual pastel shades, the standard shades, and I have, oh, you gotta keep me, a cat is puking your guts out right next to me. Gross. And I have like the landscape ones, but these are for skin. And you see, it's hard to see, I'm sure with all the shine, but it's got the different skin um, tones and ethnicities here. So this is really gonna be nice. I'm gonna actually, I've never done skin tone in pastels before. Um, I usually use my Copics for skin, as I've said multiple times. So I'm gonna do a, a like a larger portrait like this all in the pastel and see how it looks. I'll do that before I do anything else on that page and I'll do it on an experimental page. So, because I don't want to ruin a good page. So I was excited about that. And um, we'll save this to test our pencils on. I did purchase, uh, this is new easy coloring by Joshua Dunbar. Um, I'm not a fan of sim simple images, but I do have the easy, like easy fall, easy flowers 
And I do like this because it's got, um, oh, those, so half of these are like the sideways landscape and the other half are the up and down. But they're simple, but they're, they also have a light gray scale and thicker lines. And I think they're charming and whimsical. And if you just want to color something quickly or you just want, like I'm going to do a, a coloring with pencils and markers for beginners video. And I'm going to, there are a few books I'm going to recommend. This will be one of them. And I'm going to just show like how to do a dress in multiple colors. Um, or how to color a candle with a glimmer around it. How to do a flower. How to do pen pastel background because all the white space. So this is a great book if you're a beginner. If you want to just have a book for experimenting with mediums. Because they are single sided. You just have to make sure you know you have a blank uh, page to put under and you can do anything you want on here. Yes, this is Amazon paper, but you can do on here, you know, look at this. Like you can do your pastels, you can do watercolors, you can do whatever you want on here, uh, water-based pencils, your Derwin ink inktense, and make these simple ones look beautiful. If you're more experienced, you can make these simple pages look beautiful with your more advanced mediums also, which I, which I definitely am. But um, you can, I also wanted a lot of white space to practice more background mediums that I have never used yet that I have. Like this one isn't as simple, right? How to color a front door and the exterior of a building. How to do like a mini portrait. How to color food. So this is a really cute book. Um, I don't love... I don't love pictures that go like this because I don't like to keep my book flipped up. And I don't feel like you can just see it. When you open the book, you can't just see your pictures, right? You have to turn it sideways. This would be really neat, like how to color a palm tree, a basic simple beach scene. So these are like artistic, Not they're not like kid-like. They're artistic, but simple, and kind of has that whimsy look. So I really like this book, um, as well as his other ones, and I'm excited to give it a try. I'm gonna do that turtle. So very nice book. Um, I also purchased this brand new, which is Just Add Color Fairyland, a gorgeous coloring book with 120 pictures, by the way. Big fat coloring book. They have several. They have dazzling patterns, mandalas, optical illusions, tattoos, and more. This is by Barron's. It's a heavy book. Um, and they're kind of vintage looking. I'm not gonna do whole flip food, but they're vintage with thick black ink lines. And some of them are just floral. Some are like, like these are the, so like, some are wallpapery, which you may not wanna do, but this is fine, because they consider it like a white page. So whatever you do on this side, it doesn't matter if it goes through, right? So like there's some I wouldn't do, like these really fine ones, but there are some, like I might do this with every fairy with a different color or something like that um let's see very thick book they're not perforated are they poor for oh they are perforated you can tear these out that's cool so big chunky line art a lot are kind of wallpaperish some are fine some are i mean I'm just was kind of mixed on this book because like I expect consistency in a book and there's so much different things in here. Like there's repetition, but then there's these big vintagey looking ones. And then there's some the delicate ones you need fine liners for. Like I like these types. This is like, really? What am I going to do with all that skin? I don't think so. Mushrooms, no, but there are some things in here that I would color, so I am keeping it, but I, I bet I would only do one fourth of this book. It's just different. I like the greeting card looking ones, like these big chunky ones. Yeah, so I'm keeping this one. Now it's not nearly as, um, Amazing as the one I'm in love with, as I'm in love with all of these books by Christina Caron. This is her Fairy and Fantasies 2. I have, I think, number one and three, which I just got last week and I haven't shown you guys yet. And I've already did one picture in one of them I'm going to show you in my What I Call in September video. And it's beautiful and it's gorgeous grayscale. It's great with your, um, I'm using my Copic Chows with it. 
I actually did this picture here in what I colored in August video. If you want to go check it out, it was actually free of printable for this one. And I used all the Artex pastel sets. So go check out my video um, below. I'm going to write that down. So I remember to link it. I'll link it below the what I colored. So I remember. But anyway, oh my God, so beautiful. Somehow, even th this paper too is just like amazing for markers. It's single-sided, put barrier pages, of course, with this soft grayscale, oh my gosh, it takes the Copics and the Ahuhus like magic. Sure, you can do pencils, but I love my markers in this book and, and any of her books, and they're so beautiful. And the grayscales are nice. They show you right where to put the darker colors. Look at that. That's like a winter one. Here's all the books. So I have the one I just did the picture in is, yeah, the one I just did the picture in is the green one. I have the brown one. I don't have the characters books. I don't have the mermaid and she, I don't have the bunny blue, which I want. She has grayscale and line art. I like the grayscale is way better way better it looks better like here's a cute little fall one and like these darker shadows is where you like for her hair if you want to do blonde hair with brown roots or brown hair that had blonde highlights you'd put the brown where you see the darker spots and then a little bit of a darker yellow and then a lighter yellow in the whitest areas it's really easy to let the picture guide you so don't be intimidated by grayscale if you're new but this book is gorgeous and all of her books are gorgeous um i did not do that it came like that um yeah, love it. Oh, I'll show you the one I did. The cupcake one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put it in my folder. Oh, yeah, this is the one I did, but it was not a printable, and it was not the grayscale. It was the white one, and I did a rainbow cupcake. It was purple hair. It was really pretty, so check that out. Okay, guys, I have to cut this video, but I have one, two, three, four more books, including Deborah Muller's brand new fall book. I have two pencil sets to show. I have quite a few other things, you guys. I went a little money crazy. So next video will be faster because I won't be experimenting so much with disastrous paints. I will see you in the next video, part two.